Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome guys to a little bit of a, mm, I wouldn't say special episode, but it's something you won't see every day on my channel, that's for sure. And it's a text adventure. Very cool, very old school. We are playing some Zork. And I guess some of you know Zork, some of you don't. It's a text adventure. And what that means is we don't have graphics, we don't have sprites, we don't have polygons, we don't have... Um, what else do we not have? I guess it's pretty much all that's lacking. We have... what we do have is gameplay, we have level design, we have an adventure, we have a character, we have inventory, we have commands. So, that's pretty much... Uh, how how we do here so um <coughs> um saying is right now i'm not gonna um upload a whole let's play of this because i suspect it might not interest very many of you and those who do you should really play this for yourself i just wanna kinda get you guys to see that this exists I'm gonna provide the link in the description um, what else here? So yeah, if you're really interested, go play it yourself. It's really cool. I've played a little bit of this before, but uh, that was like half half a year to a year ago, something like that. Now, for your viewing experience, um, as you can hear, I have some music here, just so it's not only my voice, some background stuff. Also, um, I'm uploading this in 1080p because I suspect 720p will not be the best to read. So that's why this is in higher resolution than usual. Um, you can also, I will read everything that's important, so you can also just listen to this. Works perfectly. You won't miss anything I guess since it's really just text um, so here we go you are in an open field west of a big house with a board front door there's a small mailbox here well let's open a mailbox shall we opening the mailbox reveals a leaflet well let's read a leaflet. Oi! Taken. Welcome to Zork. Originally Dungeon. Dungeon is a game of adventure, danger and low hunting. In it, you will explore some of the most amazing territory ever seen by mortal man. Hardened adventurers have run adventurers have run screaming from the terrors contained within. In Dungeon, the intrepid explorer delves into the forgotten secrets of a lost labyrinth deep in the bowels of the earth, searching for vast treasures long hidden from prying eyes, treasures guarded by fearsome monsters and diabolical traps. No DEC system should be without one. Dungeon was created at the Programming Technology Division of the MIT Laboratory of for Computer Science by Tim Anderson, Mark Blank, Bruce Daniels and Dave Lebling. It was inspired by the adventure game of Crafter and Woods and the Dungeons and Dragons game of Gigox and Arnson. The original version was written in MDL, Elias model, and the current version was translated from MDL into Fortran 4 by a somewhat paranoid DC engineer who prefers to remain anonymous and was later translated to C. Online information may be obtained with the commands help and info. This version is a PHP webhack of the original dungeon which allows you to log in, save and restore your game. You can see your fellow players, but since they are running their own instance of the game, you can't do much other than save things to them. Or at least you will be able to once that bit has been coded. It is a work in progress. Have fun. So a bit of information here. So we know what we what we're dealing with. Some old school stuff, guys. <coughs> okay. Now, uh, where were we? Um, 
I think if we type look, yep, it says where we are in an open field again. We're still at the same place, haven't moved. So west of a big house with a boarded front door. Let's check that house out. Go east to the house. Door's locked. There's evidently no key. That's too bad. Let's go north of the house. You're facing the north side of a white house. There's no door here and all the windows are barred. Okay, let's go back. And let's go to the south. You're facing the south side of a white house. There is no door here and all the windows are barred. Oh boy, this house is not friendly. Mm. Can you can you imagine this? This is where your imagination takes over. You know, you imagine the scene. Just immerse yourself. Think think of a house, and you are now on the south side, looking at the house. I imagine it white. <laughs> that may be because it said it's white. But imagine it in every color you, any color you want. Actually, you're on the south side. There, windows? No, no. There's, there's all bars are, are, uh, above the windows. Can you see it in front of your inner eye? Okay, good. Now let's imagine I go uh, east again. I want to see, I want to see the west wall. Oh, behind. Ooh, you are behind the White House. In one corner of the house, there is a window which is slightly ajar. So let's approach this window. The window is closed. Well, it's slightly ajar, right? So let's open the window. With great effort, you open the window far enough to allow passage. Ooh. Enter house. You are in the kitchen of the White House. A table seems to have been used recently for the preparation of food. A passage leads to the west and a dark staircase can be seen leading upward. To the east is a small window which is open. Yeah, that's where we just came in, right? So, On the table is an elongated brown sack smelling of hot peppers. A clear glass bottle is here. The glass bottle contains a quantity of water. Mm. Let's take the bottle. Very useful. Can I check out my inventory? Ah, a glass bottle, a leaflet, and water's in the glass bottle. Oh, that's good. Okay, um, let's open the sack actually. A clove of garlic and a lunch. Let's take both. Ah, I must, I must say what I want. Take garlic. Maybe we need to fight off some nasty, nasty vampires. Oh, and what's in the bag? Take lunch. I'm stealing your stuff here. Uh, what else is on the table? Um, here. Let's let's look again. Give us a situation. So we're still in the same same kitchen. Uh, the sack is still there. Let, let's take the sack. Just, just you know, you never know. Maybe we need to kidnap someone, and the sack's always handy for that. <clears throat> now this is I've been here before on my previous attempts at this game, but I never gotten further. So. You know what kind of noobishness you have to expect from now on. <clears throat> okay, should we go to the west or the dark staircase? I guess dark staircase is not the best idea. So let's go west. You are in the living room. There is a door to the east. Oh, that's the locked door, I guess. Oh, oh no probably goes to the kitchen. To the west is a wooden door with strange gothic lettering which appears to be nailed shut. Oh, that's the front door I guess. 
In the center of the room is a large oriental rock. There is a trophy case here. On hooks above the mantelpiece hangs an elvish sword of great antiquity. A battery powered brass lantern is on the trophy case. There is an issue of Us News and Dungeon Report dated <coughs> 11th of March 91 here. I wasn't even born on that date. Huh. Okay. Let's read the news. Is that possible? Oh. <clears throat> Late news flash! The end game is here somewhere. There have been some puzzling new discoveries near the thief's hideaway. Oh. Is this the thief's hideaway? Maybe? Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I don't care about the coding things. Let's not read that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's take the lantern, actually. That's gonna come in handy when we go up the dark stairs. Battery powered. Maybe? I hope there's batteries in there. Mm. What else is there? Uh... Let's look at trophy. Oops. Trophy case. I see nothing special about the trophy case. Open. Trophy case, maybe? Opened. Well, what happens if we look? Oh, still the same thing. <coughs> Let's look at the trophy case again. Oops. Take trophy, maybe? Huh? Okay, no. Um, I don't know. That seems of importance. They wrote it, man. Oh well. Uh, Oriental rock. Mm. Gothic ladder. I guess I can read that, right? Look at. Oops. Do it. Yeah, that's because I made a typo. Look at door. There we go. The engraving is translated to this space intentionally left blank. <laughs> Great. Oh god. Mm. I can read gothic lettering. Well, I guess it's not too hard. Um, we got a lantern. You guys want to go up the? Up the dark staircase? Cause I do. Uh, let's go east again. In the kitchen. Okay, go up. Staircase. It's pitch dark. You're likely to be eaten by a Gru. Um, turn on lantern. The lamp is now on. You are in the attic. The only exit is stairs that lead down. A large coil of rope is lying in the corner. On the table is a nasty looking knife. There is a square brick here which feels like clay. Maybe there's something hidden behind that brick. But first let's take the rope. Rope is always very handy. Let's take the knife. Defend ourselves. Um, there's a square brick. Take the brick. Let's look again. The only exit is just okay. Look at brick. Nothing special. Hmm. Can I like destroy the brick? No. All right. Hmm. If it feels like clay, there may be something in it. Cut. Brick. No. Let's check out the help. What, what we can do and what we can't do. Uh. Okay, here we have useful commands. Brief. Okay, super brief. 
Oh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. Uh huh. Log in. Oh, that's handy if we wanna continue with this. The active. Okay. Okay. Don't care. Alright. Uh, uh huh. Time command diagnose. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's look again. Um, we're on the attic. I, I'm, I'm still. Oh, I can just press I for inventory, right? Yeah, a brick. Man, that brick. Can I like open the brick? You must tell me how to do that to a brick. Oh, open brick with knife. Um, no. Okay. Um, it's clay, right? It's it's a clay. Um, cut open brick with knife. No. Alright, let, let's go down. Can I just try it down? Okay, we're in the kitchen. Um, I guess I should turn off the lantern to save batteries. Okay. Let's go west. Living room. Hmm, the rock. The rock. The rock. Can I take the rock? I guess not, right? Yeah, I cannot carry that. Uh, can I move the rug? Great effort, the rug is moved to one side of the room. The rug moved, the dusty cover of a closed trapdoor appears. Aha! Open trapdoor. The door reluctantly opens to reveal a rickety staircase descending into darkness. So let's go down. It's pitch dark, you're likely to be eaten by Gru. And that means turn on lantern. Lamp is now on. You are in a dark and damp cellar with a narrow passageway leading east and a crawlway to the south. To the west is the bottom of a steep metal ramp which is unclimbable. The door crashes shut and you hear someone barring it. Oh crap! So let's check out the west. Um, just because uh, we can. <laughs> Try to ascend the ramp, but it's impossible. You slide back down. Okay, so there is nothing there. Uh, should we crawl? Yeah, let's let's take the crawl way. You're on the west edge of a chasm, the bottom of which cannot be seen. The east side is sheer rock, providing no exits. The narrow passage goes west. The path you are on continues north and south. Oh, now it gets tricky. So we went south, can't go to the east, we can go to the west and further south. Alright, so if I go north, I'm... Um, yeah, let's go south again. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I came into... Oh, I went to the north of the chasm. Okay, now we went south. You're in what appears to have been an artist's studio. The walls and floors are splattered with paints of 69 different colors. Strangely enough, nothing of value is hanging here. At the north and northwest of the room are open doors, also covered with paint. 
An extremely dark and narrow chimney leads up from a fireplace. Although you might be able to get up the chimney, it seems unlikely that you could get back down. Okay, let's check out the door to the north. So this is completely new for me too. You're in north-south crawlway. A passage also goes to the east. There is a hole above, but it provides no opportunities to, for climbing. Okay, let's get back back south. Uh, let's go to the northeast. There's a wall there. What? Oh, northwest. Oh. You are in an art gallery. Most of the paintings, which were which were here have been stolen by vandals with exceptional taste. The vandals left though the north, south, through the north, south and west exits. Fortunately there, fortunately there is still a chance for you to be a vandal, for on the far wall is a work of unparalleled beauty. Take. Painting. Taken. Oh, maybe I should have looked at it, huh? Look at painting. Still possible? Nope. Nothing special. Alright. Let's take a look again. Um, north, south, the west exit. Let's go south. Oh, that's where I came from. Uh, back to northwest. And I can go north then. You're in the west edge of a chasm, the bottom of which cannot be seen. The east side is sheer rock, right? No exit. No, no, no. We already were here. Let's go west from the chasm this time. You're in a dark, damp. Si oh. Oh, I'm here again. Oh. Okay. We're back in the. Be um, under the trap door. So let's go back south. Should go back to the chasm, right? Yep. Uh, I think north is where I went, right? All right, we're in the artist studio again. Northwest. Um, we went. North last time, we already went south. Let's take the west this time. You're in a large entrance hall of the Bank of Zork, the largest banking institution of the great underground empire. A partial account of its history is in the lives of the 12 Flatheads, with a chapter on J. Oh, <laughs> J. Pierman Flathead. Pierre Pont. Oh, French. A more detailed history, albeit less objective, may be found in Flathead's outrageous aut autobiography. I'm rich and you earned. So there. <laughs> I gotta write a book like this. But I'm not rich. Man, I'm poor and you aren't. <laughs> so there. Sad face. Most of the furniture has been ravaged by passing scavengers. All that remains are two signs at the northwest and northeast corners of the room which say West Viewing. West Viewing Room, East Viewing Room. Um. So, uh, let's... Can we go west? There's a wall. Can we go north? There's a wall. Can we go south? Okay, I'm in the art gallery again. Mm hmm. Um, let's go back south. And let's go south again. No, uh, where where can I get out? Um, can I go to the west? No. What? Where where where, where was I? North is where I go. Yes. Okay, let's go north. I'm in the chasm again. All right. The east side of Shiro. Um, let's go north. I'm in the crawlway. North. West side of the chasm. Oh, again. 
But let's go to the narrow path in the west then. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, that's giving me back to the damp cellar. Um, let's go to the east now. I think the chasm is more or less explored. You're in a small room with passages off in all directions. Bloodstains and ugh. Deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. Well, that's ugly. Yeah. You're in a small room with passages off in all directions. Um, we came from the... We, we came east. So... We came from the west, right? If we go west, we're back in the chasm. And the cellar... Yeah, okay, very good. <coughs> so we went east. Oh, it's hard. You have to imagine all of this. It's very, it's very cool. In my head, I have a clear image of what it looks like. I hope you have too. It's make, it makes this interesting. Otherwise... Well, you shouldn't be watching. Because <laughs> it's boring. So, we came in through the west. So let's go, let's go north. You're in a narrow east-west passageway. There's a narrow staircase leading down at the north end of the room. Let's go north, let's go down. You're in a deep ravine, ooh. At a crossing with an east-west crawlway. Some stone ships are at the south of the ravine and a steep staircase descends. Let's go down there. You're in a long room on the south shore of a large reservoir. There is a western exit, a passageway south and a steep pathway climbing up along the edge of a cliff. Uh, let's go south. You're in a deep ravine at a cross... Ooh. Ooh, let's get. Can I get D for down? Oh, where are you? Let's go west. You're standing on a path beside a gently flowing stream. The path travels to the north and east. There is a coil of thin, shiny wire here. Ooh, take wire. Yes! Uh huh. Let's go to the north of this stream. You are in a large room with giant icicles hanging from the walls and ceiling. There are passages to the north and east. A mass of ice fills the western half of the room. Okay, so let's go north again. You are standing on a path beside a gently flowing stream. The path travels to the north and to the east. Let's continue to the north. Oh, that's where I am. Oh, I've been here before. Le well, let's uh, let's go east then. You're in a room which looks like an Egyptian tomb. There is an ascending staircase in the room, as well as doors east and south. There is a solid gold coffin used for the burial of Ramses II here. Well, let's open that puppy up. Can I look. Look in. Coffin. The gold coffin is empty. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Uh, let's go south. You're in a ledge in the whoa. You're on a ledge in the middle of a large volcano. Below you, the volcano bottom can be seen, and above is the rim of the volcano. A couple of ledges can be seen on the other side of the volcano. It appears that this ledge is in. Intermediate in elevation between those on the other side. The exit from this room is to the east. Well then, let's go east, man. Right? You're in a room with... Oh, I'm in tomb again. Uh, let's go east. You're in a crawlway with a three foot high ceiling. Your footing is very unsure here due to the assortment of rocks on the foot. Passengers... Passages can be seen in the east, west, and northwest corners of the crawlway. Let's go further east. You are at the periphery of a large dome, which forms the ceiling of another room below. Hmm. Protecting you from a precipitous drop is a wooden railing which circles the dome. Let's go north. There's a wall there. Let's go east. You're in a crawlway with three... What? Again? Let's go east again. Okay, can I go west now? South? I don't know. Okay, let's get back. 
the east. And we go to the west now. You're in a deep ravine at a crossing. Aha, uh -huh, we're in the ravine again. Oh man, I really, really should map this out. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get so lost in here. I am already lost. Where did that go? I went down the ravine before. Let's go west this time. Okay, we're in this unsure uh, hallway, crawlway again with a three foot high ceiling. Let's go northwest then. In a room which looked. Oh, there's an Egyptian tomb. If I go south, this is the volcano. Can I go back north? Nope. Um, east. Uh, where's the exit here? Oh, let's go up from the. You're in a large room with giant icicles. Oh, that's here. All right. Okay, guys. Look, as you can see, <laughs> I'm not making any progress here. I'm just walking in circles, literally. <laughs> so, um. I guess it's pretty much it from, from Zork, I mean, for me. I mean, I'm gonna probably play this for a long time. But I won't show you, because it's maybe quite boring for you. I don't know. Let me let me know. I mean, who knows, right? Maybe, maybe you think it's interesting. Because I think it is. I may have to map everything out here. I don't see any other way. Or I get, I get a pre-made map. That's possible, too. But mm, I feel a bit cheap. Okay guys, so uh, thank you for watching, it was quite cool for me, I hope you had some fun too. You can imagine the real big caverns and chasms and walkways and crawlways and volcanoes and icicles and everything. So yeah, I guess there's nothing else left to say but goodbye.